Since 1975. So what, 40, 43, 44 years. We had just moved to Lafayette from Homa, and we were looking for a church. And every church we went to, there was just something missing. There was, there was no connection. So we passed this little building on Beetle Road, and it was little army barracks. And there was a family out there, and they were working in the yard, a whole family. And we stopped. And that was on a Saturday. Well, Sunday morning we were there, and we were greeted by Doris Branton. And we didn't leave. And when my brother and sister and I got in the car after church, we told Mom and Daddy, if we can't go back to church there, we don't want to go to church anywhere. So that's what brought us there, just the love that was in that little building. And there wasn't any young people, very, very few young people that were mostly, you know, the elderly people. But there was a love there. I'm going to sound like everybody else, the love. And the caring spirit and the heart that people have. And everybody that knows me knows that I'm very passionate about the angel tree and about homelessness and, and, and people who are hungry. And when we get up to start talking about the angel tree at church and about the circumstances that some of these people have to survive in, our, our church opens up their heart, their wallet, everything they can think to open up to help these people get through and bring them just a little bit of joy and a little bit, a little bit of love. This is just an example of how people care about what happens at Covenant. Several years ago I was choir director and our choir loft was just boxes that were pushed together as the choir grew the boxes grew and you would sit down in a chair and the boxes would separate and your legs of the chair would fall through and you would sort of you know topple off we had one poor lady Kathy Ball bless her heart she fell off the back of the of the choir risers and you know we heard this glue and Kathy stands up she goes I'm fine you know so anyway that was just always a concern about the, this crazy choir loft so one night I was coming up to the church and my mom said don't don't go up to the church tonight, just go later. Well, I insisted on going. And when I walked in, there was lights on all in here and there were cars outside. And when I walked in, there were several men from the choir and from the congregation. They're building a new choir loft. And when I walked in and I went, oh, and somebody went, surprise. They were trying to surprise me for Sunday morning. So, and then we had um, people donate pews because I wanted pews in the choir loft. I said, that's our goal, we're gonna get pews. So, someone donated pews and said, you know, we're doing this because it, it, it helps with the choir, you know, and most people don't even worry about the choir. If you're not in it, you don't worry about it. But this church does worry about it. 